It's certainly a very calm place. It is, I guess it's as calm as I imagined it, it would be. Preparing a brand new piece of music that none of us have seen or heard before is a different process than if we were preparing for a performance uh, later this week of a piece by Tchaikovsky or Dvorak or Beethoven. And uh, the best part of today was that we had Luis, our composer, right here. So if we had a question, we could ask him and he could demonstrate. Well, it's, it's something like that. If, um, could you try it faster then, maybe? There's no objective way of turning a visual a visual image into sound. For me, it's rather it's rather subjective. Um, there are certain sounds that that for me that can be linked to certain certain images or certain colors. It's not um, it's not quite uh, uh, synesthesia, uh, but it's 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 more of a sensation. Well, you know, throughout history. Uh, composers going all the way back to the Baroque era were inspired by nature. And that's what Luis has done uh, with this piece. He's given us uh, natural sounds uh, inspired by what he's uh, seen and heard. The inspiration for the piece was, first of all, sounds that are found on the Indian River Lagoon. And also certain images, particularly images, pictures of the bioluminescent effect that happens at night in the summer. I cannot even remember how old I was. I was, I was, I was rather young, and I, I still have like a vague memory of it in my mind. It was, it was the, the color, what I remember. The fact that the water sort of becomes alive in a sense. We have such a beautiful uh, natural environment here in the community, uh, but this is certainly the most unique event uh, to, to sort of bring uh, performance and the natural environment together. We're so excited about it. There is, to, there is music to be made from the sounds of nature. Because if we think of music as, as, as art, and if we think of art as a human endeavor, then any sound could potentially become, become music, for sure.